How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another day in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Do you like that intro better? I, I'm, I'm kind of... Okay, <laughs> before we start off this episode, and I'm going to speak to our new neighbor that moved in uh, yesterday, just in a little bit, and of course check my mail, but man, I gotta say, I, it, like, playing New Leaf, I, I mean, I did play it before, but like... It's weird, because this is a life simulation game, so it's, I mean, technically it's not in real time, because I'm not recording this the day of, that'd be a little too, uh, weird, especially because it takes a long time to, you know, edit and render. Anyway, point is, I record these in advance, but it's, like, really weird because it's a life simulation game, so I want to say welcome to another day instead of another episode, and spoiler alert, I've recorded, obviously, the last few days worth of videos, so, and I've introduced those as another episode, but I'm thinking I want to change it up, I think I want to say welcome back to another day, because sometimes during the outros, I've said it, and I will see you tomorrow, like tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf. I think I'm gonna go with that. I think I'm gonna stick with that. I'll at least try to if I say one or the other to start or end a video, then I'm just plain stupid. I'll probably end up forgetting like halfway through the series anyway, so. Anyway, this episode is actually gonna be like a double feature, kind of, because in case you haven't noticed, Oh, she called me Sugar Cube! Oh, that's so adorable! Okay, let, let's recover from losing some man points. Um, so in case you haven't noticed, episodes don't really match what day they're going up. We're, we're kind of behind by one day. So starting with this episode, and I was going to wait until like the weekend to do this, but... Starting with this episode, we are going to match the day of when it's uploaded. So, I will be playing through Wednesday, and then I will play through Thursday. And Thursday is going to be the bulk of the episode, so I want to get through Wednesday as much as possible. I'm not going to really spend too much time playing today, uh, and by today I mean Wednesday. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time playing uh, but I do want to play a little bit. I want to, like, collect fossils and all that stuff, so I want to do all that. I still can't get over your calling me Sugar Cube! That's so cute! Let's talk, Victoria. I heard the best rumor. There's a new ho A new house! We're gonna have another new neighbor! Ooh, another new neighbor, okay. I I'm down for that. All right. All right, mailbox. I I understand you want you want to be loved. Oh my goodness, we have three letters to attend to. Holy crap. Okay, let's uh let's go ahead and open up our mail here and let's attend to these three letters starting with Red's Gallery. Dear Cousin James, Old Red would like to thank you again for purchasing this fine, flowery painting. You got yourself an amazing work of art, of course, cousin. From Red's Gallery. Okay. And I did go ahead and check in between the episodes, and I did leave a little note, caption thing. I did get it right. The flowery painting is one of several items that are never false. They are always genuine, so I am very happy that I got that one right. And then we have Boone. Okay. Let's read off Boone's letter before we read the pre uh before Let's read off Boone's letter before we read the present. Yeah, sure. James, I had a lot of fun visiting you at home. Your place is great, and you're a real sport for letting me play with all your toys. I got something to put on your walls. See you soon. Boone. Something for our walls. What could it be? A female mask. Uh, okay. And then our last letter is from our mom, and she gave us a present as well. Let's read off our letter from our mom. Dear James, I can't help but be a bit nervous about your first solo journey. I'm sending you something to help you along. I'll try not to worry, Mom. Aw, well, Mom, 
I miss you too, and the present you give us is a cabin dresser. So, your mom will occasionally send you items that you can't get anywhere else. I do believe that is the case. Uh, but yeah, so, that's pretty cool. And our pears grew back! Yes! Awesome. So I'm gonna shake some pears, I'm gonna go collect a lot of them, although I don't really have room in my inventory. Not much room, at least. You know what? Okay. Real quick, we're gonna put- uh, actually, wait. Wait. Uh, flower- yeah, we're gonna put the, uh, stuff back where they belong in terms of the presents. And I'm gonna go around town and do all of my usual daily activities, so I will catch you in just a little bit when I am done with all of that. So as I was making my way around the town, in the corner of my eye, I spotted this character walking around. Hello, I would like to speak to you. I am called Sahara, for that is my name. I come from faraway land. I have many wallpapers for the papering of walls, many carpets for the petting of cars. For 3,000 bells, deal? Sure, deal. Ah, it is nice. Let us travel to your palace, swiftly! Okay, so, uh, this is Sahara, and Sahara will visit your town randomly, and for 3,000 bells, Sahara will redecorate your house, whether it be the wallpaper, carpet, combination of- I think it's a combination of both. But, uh, yeah, let's bring Sahara over here to our house and see what magic can happen inside. Many moons I have seen, many souls I have touched. The future embraces Sahara. Oh, I actually need to take you inside. Alright, Sahara, come on in, take a look at the place. I know there's not much to it right now. I'm kind of working on it, you know, I'm trying to build up my expenses so I can expand my house. Just ignore that magic lamp. Don't rub it or anything. Ah, this is your palace, yes? Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing, yes. Yes. Now I will accept the payment of the money. For 3,000 bells, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Now my work begins. You will wait outside, yes? Just a bit, please. Thank you. Yes. It is done, done like the past, tomorrow is here. The future needs not this, so you must take it. Harmony is peace, peace is unity, unity is harmony. I tell this to the Nook Man, he asked me to leave. Alright, how about we take a look inside our house? Now that, it's been, now that it has been redecorated, by Sahara, let's see. Ooh! I actually like this! Oh, this is so cool! I don't understand what theming you get- Like, how did you get to this idea of a theme, Sahara? You know what? I like it! I'm, I'm gonna roll with it. Let's just keep going. There's a couple more things that I want to show off during this day, and I know this is probably gonna end up being like a really long video uh, because of it, but you know what? So be it. But there's, uh, what was, what was I gonna do? Oh, uh, actually I did forget what I was gonna do. Oh, um, I'm trying to find where uh, that other location is where we are apparently gonna have another new neighbor. And I'm also, oh, there's a pear tree I forgot. Because uh, most of them did grow, as you might have seen. And I already have no room in my inventory. We're gonna drop that. Don't I have... Oh, I actually don't. Um, okay, shoot. Okay, we're gonna have to put this there, this there, that there for now. Just so I can pick up all of these pears. I think these are the last pears that are... That have grown? No, they are not. I am very sadly mistaken. Okay. Well, I think these are the last three pairs. Alright, that's one. That's two. And now I need to put these there so my inventory doesn't get filled. And three. Perfect. Okay. 
organize that inventory a bit more. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to not only find where that plot of land is, where we're gonna have a new neighbor tomorrow, aka later in this episode, but also the money rock, because I have yet to find it, although I'm inclined to believe that it is right here. Yes, it is! Alright, let's do this. Oh, I, I messed up. I could have probably gotten all of them, but I screwed up to the point of no return. Okay. Okay, we can carry one more. I'll carry the bags. And then we can put all of the bags in our bank. You can make so much bells just from the money rock alone. It is astounding. Alright. So, now that that is all said and done, the hunt begins to find where our new neighbor is going to be located at. Hidden behind the trees, I have found the location for where our new neighbor is going to be located. Let's see who our new neighbor is going to be. Chops! Uh, Chops? Yeah, Chops's house. Chops. Either that's going to be a lamb, a pig... Actually, yeah, no, just lamb or pig. Okay, so a lamb or a pig is going to be joining our town. Not bad, not bad. And now I have a couple things that I need to take care of really quickly. I need to assess some fossils and things of that nature. So I will be right back. Uh, and now we are a day later in the universe and all is right with the world. Welcome back to this episode. It's been a day, pretty much. Yeah, actually it's been like over 24 hours at this point since I recorded the last bit of this episode. I ended up cutting it down from a 40 minute recording to like 11 minutes, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, we're starting out this episode with our fancy new outfit by heading in to Nook's home. So Nook, I need to talk to you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's James. So good to see you, hmm? Your home has now been built, yes? What do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams, hmm? And now the numbers. I deducted your down payment, leaving a grand total of 39,800 bells. That's the total amount of your paltry little loan. A mere triple, really, yes? Hmm, oh no, you don't pay me directly. Please make all of your payments at the post office ABD. And there's no set schedule either. Pay the loan off and your own at your own pace or whatever whenever you're able to hmm yes yes one more thing we do require that all homeowners become members of the happy home academy hmm they'll just stop by from time to time to give your home an in-depth inspection very good to get one the inspection is a comprehensive look at your room and the furniture layout your hygiene level etc if you're given high marks, you might even receive a wonderfully elegant commemorative prize. They'll schedule the inspection, so there's nothing for you to worry about. No worries at all, hmm? What else? Members, you see, also gain access to the HH Showcase behind the shopping district. Once you receive a letter that confirms your membership, you may visit the showcase at any time. Very good. Please do come see me if you wish to discuss further renovations, hmm? And that we shall, Nook, I will keep that in mind, but as you may be able to tell, we do have a good amount of bells on our person. So how about we actually pay off the, uh, pay off our house right now? I mean, why not? I needed to go to the post office anyway, because I do have a couple of letters that I want to send out to my villagers. I will repay the loan. This is basically an ATM for... You know, everything. So, as you can see, our uh, bells on hand are displayed. The amount that we are going to uh, we are going to display. No, the amount we are going to pay is next, and then the remainder of our current bill is listed down below that. So, how about we go ahead and enter the required amount that is needed to pay off our loan, and all loans on the account have now been paid in full. Awesome! I finished paying off the home loan! 
Yay, and Pelly even clapped for me. Thank you, Pelly. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Pomoja Post Office. What can I help you with today? You see, Pelly, I have some more letters to send out. Unfortunately, though, they aren't for uh, myself in the future, but they are for people around the town. Just drop anything off you want to set into the red box. Alright, so... In the red box, we will be sending mail to the... F can I, I... Yes, okay, I can show this off. I'm sending a letter to Boone. I'm sending a letter to Melba. And I am sending a letter to Hamfrey. Now, a thing that I want to tell you is that if you write letters to your villagers, and I'll even show this off here, if you write villagers to your letters and allude to the fact that you want to swap fruit with them, there is a high chance that you can get non-native fruit into your town this way. And I am trying it out with Boone. I am trying it out with Melba. And I am also trying it out with Hamfrey, although Hamfrey is just, you know, just... A regular old letter, but what I did is I gave a pair to all three of them, so hopefully that'll give a high chance of a non-native fruit to be sent to me. Hopefully they don't send a peach, because I already have peaches in my town, thanks to Isabel, so I could use anything other than a peach. And that is it. Wait. Wait, what? I thought I... Send mail. Person in Pomoja. Oh. I didn't press OK. I pressed back. Wow, I'm stupid. There we go. Press OK. And now we have officially sent our letters off to everybody else. I think they'll get the letters at, like... The, obviously, they'll get the letters today. Uh, what is it? I think they send mail twice throughout the day. I think it's 1 p.m. and 4 p.m.? I'm not exactly sure about that. Uh, off screen, I went ahead and went into Nookling Junction and the Able Sister Shop. That's basically how I got my fancy new outfit here, as you can see. I got the triangle sunglasses and this flower shirt. Plus, I have my grandpa hat on, so it basically looks like I'm about to head to a tropical island. And there's still no fortune cookie at the Nookling Junction, so yeah, I am... Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Anyway... Uh, there's still actually a couple of things that we can do in this episode, including meeting a brand new neighbor, and they are actually living right here. So, I do believe they are home. This is Chop. Alright, Chop, let's go say hi. Yep, okay, you are home. Alright, Chop, let's see who you are. Either you're a pig or you're a lamb. Let's see. What are you gonna be? You are gonna be a pig. Okay. Hey, you're James, right? I just moved here, but I've already heard your name all over town. My name is Chops, and I bet everyone here is going to be talking about me soon, too. Yeah, you and me, we'll be best friends in no time. Come on over whenever I'm all unpacked. Okay, I really like uh, your design there, Chops. And I really like your house. Your outfit actually matches your uh, uh, house design. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, well... That's really all we can do with Chops for now. Every time a new villager moves into your town, really, there's nothing you can do on their first day because they're unpacking. So uh, we will check in with Chops again tomorrow. But uh, other than that, it's time to do our daily activities, including picking up our newly grown peach trees. Yes, I can't wait. So, I will catch you in just a moment when I am all done with the daily activities. But first, I need to get out of this pitfall. Alright, I've done my errands around town. Pitifully, I only got like 8,000 bells from the Money Rock earlier, so hopefully my donations to the museum here will make up for that. So I can donate everything, uh, all but one of my fossils actually. And I can also donate the flowery... Uh, Oh my god, the flowery painting that I got from Red's Gallery. Now, as you may have seen when we first entered the museum, there is an art section. 
And yes, you can donate art that you get from Red's Gallery, and that is what I am doing. So, I can't believe I've gotten so lucky with how many fossils haven't been duped. Like, all but two fossils so far that I've assessed have been completely new. That is, like, really rare, so I am going to take my blessings, and I'm, uh... Yeah, I think- how many is that now? How many days worth of stuff have we given to the museum now at this point? Maybe, uh, uh what, like four fossils a day? Uh, I don't know the official number. It's probably close to 20 at this point, though, you would think, right? Uh, but anyway, speaking of numbers, um, now that we've repaid our loan, uh, Repaid? Paid? Whatever. Now that we've paid off the loan to our house, if we go ahead and enter Nook's homes again after paying off said loan... Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, it's James. So good to see you, hmm? Thanks much for paying your home loan in full. Very good, yes, yes. I've always had faith that you would fulfill the terms of our little agreement. Now then, does your home not seem a teeny bit on the wee side? Yes, yes, I have to say, I do feel a slightly larger home would suit you much better, hmm? More room for furniture delights, and for gracious swinging of elbows, too. If you're interested, please let me know, let me know at any time, hmm? Well, Nook, I will be letting you know, because I actually would like to expand my home. Yes, I'm gonna select I want to expand. Is it time you make to your home... It is time to make your home bigger, guess yes. A loan of nearly a hundred thousand bells. Let's do it. I might regret this. Excellent. I would put I will put your order in right away, hmm? The work will be fully completed by tomorrow morning. I'm sure you must be very excited, yes, yes. Well, that's uh gonna be a doozy to pay off. Technically, I guess we only need 80, 80, 81, no, wait, right? Yeah, 81,000 and change more, so that's not too bad. That's actually really bad. Anyway, uh, before we end off today in Animal Crossing, uh, I can go to the beach and I can collect some seashells and I can... Sell them off to retail, including some of the other stuff I have in my inventory right now. So, uh, yeah, let's go collect some seashells and then let's sell them off at retail. Oh, oh, uh, hello. I didn't expect to see you. Uh, well, uh, buddy, you want to wake up? <sighs> yeah, no, but I'm still sleeping. No, Lizzie, go away. Stay away from me. G oh, 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 gasp, I say. Am I in the over there? If so, you must be an angel, right? Ah, uh, guess not. My name is Gulliver. I happen to be a simple sailor who travels the seven seas, searching for an eighth. Who? Oh, Lizzie is the name of an old girlfriend of mine. Nah, I'm just fooling ya. It's the name of the hurricane that attacked me. Whoosh! Lizzie sure was a rough dame. Well, hurricane. After all, she completely blew all my memories clean from my head. I'm pretty sure I was heading somewhere. I just can't remember where that somewhere was. Oh, I know. You gotta help me. I'll tell you everything I remember, so will you please please help me figure out where I was headed? You wouldn't abandon a poor yet manly seagull like me, would ya? I'll try to help you out, I guess. You mean it? I haven't met such a noble skipper since old Bobbery of Rogueport. Not even close. Uh, I see what you did there. Now, I suppose we should start with anything and everything I can remember about where I was going. Hmm... Long ago, the people of the place I was headed to had set out to explore Europe and the rest of the world. That's what they say, at least. I heard my great-great-great-great-grand seagull, Gulliver St. Gullivive, explored most of the world himself. 
and he stopped in this place too, just to give him the idea, just to give them the idea. But I digress. The explorers of this country traveled the world by boat, the first in Europe to do so. India, China, Japan, they visited all sorts of exotic countries and experienced exotic cultures. To a sailor like me, it's like a pilgrimage to visit there. Uh, Alright, think you can tell me the name of this country yet? Oh, God. Um... I want to say either Portugal or Spain? Or maybe it was Europe. I don't know, I, I mean, I, maybe it was Europe, maybe it was the US. Um... Spoiler alert, Gulliver is gonna get lost a lot, but if you were to answer his questions correctly, I should have had Google open for this. If you were to answer his questions correctly, he would give you an item. Uh, oh god. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say Spain. Somehow I think that's wrong. But I'll put my faith in you and make my way there anyway. What's stopping me, right? Who knows? I might even send you a token from my voyage. It'll be small, so check your mailbox. Well, Gulliver, Gulliver, uh, Gulliver, I was about to, like, mix Oliver and Gulliver, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Gulliver, for my sake, I am actually hope I'm right, but I doubt it. Speaking of mail, uh, when I first loaded up today, I saw that we had stuff in our mailbox, and I've ignored it for, like, the last 30 minutes that I've been recording. So, how about we actually go ahead and open up our letter, which is from Clay. I'm having a birthday party. Date, October 19th. The place, my house. Don't stress about what to get me for a present. I like pretty much everything. Oh, okay, so we have our first birthday celebration in town. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Now, I do definitely need to think of what to give Clay for a present. Hopefully, I can find the right item just for Clay. Oh, hello, Boone. You wanted to speak to me. Hey, James. Hmm, James. James? Let's think of something new to call you. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, okay, try this on for size. Beefcake! I know, right? You know what? I like it. Okay then, henceforth, thou shalt be known as Beefcake! I feel like I'm your king or something now, baboom! You know, that's the first time I've ever been called Beefcake. I'm actually honored, Boone. Thank you so much. Uh, well, to finish off today, how about we go ahead and check on our approval rating in, uh, the town. So, hopefully, all of the work I've done around town, watering plants, planting new trees, even though they were only fruit trees, which I also did today, by the way, hopefully that, as well as clearing out any weeds in the town, has got my approval rating up to 100%. Isabel, lay it on me. Hi, Mayor. Mr. Mayor, is there something I can help you with? The development permit, Isabel. Come on, go ahead and tell me. You want to know how much progress you've made toward getting the development permit? Well, you already own a ho- 94%. We are very, very close. We are very close. A message via the bulletin board in front of the train station could help gain some- Okay. 100% in no time. Isabel? Alright, I'm gonna take you up on that. Let's go ahead to the train station and let us prepare a bulletin board statement. Alright, so this is the message that I'm deciding to go with on the bulletin board, because as you can see, I mentioned there's a fishing tournament on Saturday, and that actually is true, uh, as... Here, let me actually submit this uh, bulletin. But as you can see, if I go back to a notice from the uh, from Monday, yeah, Monday, yeah, Monday. You know, <laughs> having all the days when I record the videos go when I record the videos, and then the days going out a day later kind of like screwed up the own schedule in my head. So I deeply apologize. Uh, but I fixed it in this episode! Yay! Hooray! The universe can be, uh, complete and 
whole again. I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, there's a fishing tournament this Saturday, so... Uh, unfortunately, actually, I will mention this in greater detail tomorrow, um, but, uh, the weekends aren't really gonna be covered extensively, like, there aren't gonna be full episodes on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, so I will tell you more about that tomorrow, but it, there's a big traffic jam going on right now. Uh, anyways, that is going to do it for today on Animal Crossing New Leaf. Tomorrow, we will be doing our usual stuff around town, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get a fortune cookie at the Nookling Junction. But with that being said, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, catch you later.